welcome to another episode on the Draw Mode of Garage YouTube channel. Today we're continuing our transmission saga. The truck back there. Yeah, that one. Right there is uh, going to obtain that shit kit. Stay tuned. <laughs> This is a 2004 Chevrolet 2500 HD, four-wheel drive, uh, and it's got a 4L80E in it, or 4L85E, I'm not entirely sure exactly which one, but the same transmission, but 85 has some heavier duty components internally. Big six liter in it, some custom connectors here, you gotta make sure you have at least five of these, you know, real close together. Or four of them. I guess five. We need to put another one on there. But that's fine. Back there's our tranny dipstick. Now, before you put a shift kit or a reprogramming kit in one of these transmissions, you need to verify that it's working properly before you uh, take it apart. Because if you have an ailing transmission and you put a correction kit or a reprogramming kit in it, it's not going to fix it. Matter of fact, it'll probably make it just, it'll just make it worse. So, obviously, this transmission works fine. But, Transgo makes a kit that converts these transmissions into almost bulletproof monsters. This is the HD2-D reprogramming kit. Transgo is a wonderful brand. I just got done putting one in a 700R4 that's going in my little S10. Uh, it's the HD2 kit. And this one, we've got some heavy duty springs. Of course, we've got a horsepower sticker. Pressure regulator valve, um, drill bit is furnished, and then what I really like, oh, and these kits don't come with uh, filters. Make sure you uh, are aware of that. This comes with a heavy duty triple triple plate. It's riveted together, so a brand new plate. That's nice. Gaskets, and there's a big snap ring in here. I think that's for I don't know direct drum or something. But we're not going to be putting the snap ring in. We're not going to put those in. We're leaving the transmission in the vehicle and just installing the kit. But if you have the tranny out, or if you are rebuilding it, you have the option to upgrade these other parts while it's out. See, installs the trans in vehicle or on the bench. Tranny just gets comfortable at about 900 horsepower. We'll handle more, a lot more, with just a few special parts. Hang on to your hat. So we're going to go through this and. Uh, Try to stiffen this transmission up a little bit. Step one, drain pan and pull the pan off, drain the fluid out. We're gonna drop the valve body and uh, we'll go from there. All right, we got the valve body out and uh, I already got the accumulator body off. Careful, it's under some spring tension. I guess those separator plate off here. And then we can kind of, we could probably just throw that away. Step one, we're going to drill a little hole through this partition. Dry that out a little bit. Yeah. Quarter inch, or eighth inch, and then three sixteenths. All right, so the first step is we're going to drill a little hole through this partition here into this chamber. And then we'll start with this bit and then enlarge it to this bit, three sixteenths of an inch. Try not to nick these other partition surfaces. Clean that out. Oh God. You want something to drink, Jack? Sure. We got Coke. Uh, we got Coke. Coke. Cool. Pepper, Mountain Dew. Oh, Dr. Pepper. Give me a bottle of Dr. Pepper. And a cup of ice because we're probably not long yet. 
You said they're probably not warm yet? We just got them. They're not warm yet, huh? Uh, I, I have a drill. So do I. We didn't have to walk all the way back over to your house and get it. Well, I wanted to get some other goodies. Like brake cleaner, but I forgot it, so. I've got two from the right there and there's one up here. Hell, this is yours. <clears throat> I can't, can't get this pen out. Oh, God. Don't break nothing, please. There you go, yeah. And what it's... What the hell? You're supposed to drill it like that? I already did it. That looks terrifying. It was. How did you... What? See? It's a hole in it. Oh, they, they say do it, so I did it. <laughs> yeah, we'll take mine out of my car to put a manual out of it. The plug is stuck. Plug? Yeah, this. Plug. You want a mini screwdriver? It's like wedged. The biggest trick of doing shift kits is getting these stupid plugs to slide out. Oh, it's, it's coming. I just gotta work it. I'm filming this, but they they keep talking, so. Shut it off. Ah, I got it. That's out. Spring. I don't think these valves are made of metal. Or what? I said, I don't think these valves are like even made of metal. They're made out of plastic. Yeah. Like cereal box material. It's cardboard. Come on, darling. You're almost there. Fine, I'll cheat. There we go. Maybe not. Yeah, there it is. Okay, it says discard original springs and plug. Install new Transgo blue outer and blue inner springs, then new Transgo plug with O-ring. For slightly firmer ships, use blue outer accumulator spring by itself. For even firmer ships, use inner blue accumulator spring by itself. Well, I guess I'm using the inner blue one by itself. Yeah, I guarantee you once it shifts first the second wide open, you're going to let off with it. Regain, yeah, regain traction. I doubt it. The truck's too heavy for that sort of shenanigans. The end is light. Well, true. It's all, it's all pretty much rotted away, isn't it? Yeah. And hell, it's a full-size truck, and the bed of it's lightest part. There's the blue spring. I think that's the inner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because there's the outer. Now, where's the plug with the O? Oh, is it the long plug? It is. It shows this one. And these are threaded. So if you ever need to take them back out, you just thread a, a bolt into it and pull it out. Here's a tech tip of the day. Make sure you put the right O-ring on the correct stuff. I need to clean that real quick. I can't wait to put that in my mouth. Did you see you know? Boom, cup holders. All you have to do is go back in your home with a washer. Well, you came out of there, didn't you? Yeah, that's what I thought. D and then you can go on there. Go on your little stem. And we need to put transmission fluid on that. There we go. That looks good. Just kind of put it over on it. It's ugly. It's tight. The tight fit. Oh my. Maybe it needs to have it. Yes. All right. We've just put a shift kit into that valve. Now, we're not going to use that spring, but we'll save it. That's the junk spring. That's junk. Step three, remove actuator filler, fil filter parts. Discard O-ring on the filter and the original end plug. This thing. 
Did you get all that? Yeah. I didn't. Here it goes. Yes. Perfect. My ring goes on this plug. Which goes in before the filter, but I gotta get the filter out. Look at that. Coming hot. Easy girl. Got it. Yeah, it's a filter. Oh, okay. We're plugging off the end of it, apparently. We gotta, that seems smart. Yeah, yeah we got to shove this tapered plug in. And it, it says, uh, if end plug won't go in far enough, grind outer edge of filter slightly. So we may have to custom grind the filter. <clears throat> this butts right up against the manual valve bore, too. So like I don't really know why we're doing this, but it flipped upside down. Oh, oh. It went in. Grandma wants us to come down there and order keggers. Order keggers? You know what keggers is? Yeah, I know what keggers is. They have food. There's... She must live in College Point? Yeah. Okay, there's nothing to eat there, that's why. <clears throat> what? Last time I was there, it was no good. Do you think that's in all the way? Yeah, now, a few times. Now it's, it's in. Moving. Yeah, it's in. It's in now, yeah. And then it wants a spring on it. Did it say yellow one? New filter, orange. Orange spring in the filter. And then I assume that little tang holds it. I'm not sure why we're spring loading this, but, oh. They say do it, I'll do it. All right, well, this is unfortunate, but I need to grind this filter. You don't think that wire's gonna get tangled up in it, do you? I hope not. <laughs> Just gonna send your phone flying. Yeah, I should grab paper towels too. Grind into filter slightly. <laughs> These love taps. Why do you stop? What? Hey, I got a miniature flashlight. You want? It's close. It just needs to go. I'm about to just drive it in there. You won't. Bigger hammer. Oh, told you. All right, now that was like. Hopefully, that was the hard part. Springs for. Those are for, that's a return spring. Which way do they got it? They got it that way. Oh no. Oh my. Alright, we got some more uh, big blankets up here. The, this one's going to be just about used up by the time we're done here. It specifically says have a friend help. It's not a hawk. Oh. <laughs> well, it's some kind of blanket bird. There's lots of birds. Bird. Do you think they bite? Probably. Are they mean birds? Yeah. yeah. That's what I thought. I don't like them. It's like hair on that bolt. <laughs> I wish this job was done already. There's hair on the valve button. It's not good. It's slightly terrifying, isn't it? Perfect. And it says tap on it with a hammer to seat it a couple times. What do you think? Should I hit it really hard? Yes. It didn't even do anything. 
there's a there's a ridge around it now. That's fine. Don't lose that. Look at I, I need better blowers. Put some damn air in the can. The manual valve just fell out. The anal valve. Manual valve. Oh. Yeah, the anal valve just fell out, damn it. Come here, Anvil. You got a file? File? Here. Reuse that spring, throw the green one away. It's the only white spring. You might be able to get it out of that handle if you need to. It, it should be just fine. That's all it takes. Then this. And then this. Smear that around a little bit, make it look like a, make a toast or something. Mm. There we go. Line up and be okay, and everything will be okay. <gasps> Do you have any Vaseline? He does. Grease? Uh, the black S10. That's a pretty good weld job on it. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, well, once we got the valve body modifications all done, that bag on. Seven check balls go back in. Then we go back underneath the vehicle. You pop this off here, replace that spring, throw that back in. Press a regular valve, just pop that out. It's got a new boost valve, and you got to put a washer purple and green spring in and uh, the new bushing with the with that nub sticking out and the new snap ring that goes in and then uh, replace the fourth bolt open the case and then you just throw it back together dump some fluid in it and uh, we'll see if this thing will move on down the road or not all right once you get the valve body all back in her and filled up with fluid you got to test drive it to cause that but trucks if you don't come to a complete stop I'm pretty sure that they'll take off in second gear so we should be in first now second
difference? Yeah. Yeah, third gear's the same way, but I think it's so much less of a ratio change, it's not nearly as noticeable. It's still like third, just like that. Yeah. The second's a little like ooh. Yeah, but first to second gear's quite a bit of a change in ratio, so it's easier to feel. Oh, by the way, he wanted to scrap this truck and part it out. Thanks to his wife telling him, uh, no, you're going to fix it. You're not selling it or parting it out. It's fixed now, and it works. Thanks, honey. Mm -hmm. I thought you were taking it out on the highway. I am, but I want to take off from a complete stop. Oh. And if it decides to grenade something, I'd rather not splatter parts all over the cars behind us. Truck's working perfect. Um, this was a successful install. Now, there's a lot of there's a lot of footage that's not included in this video. Uh, granted, the video is um, the longest one I've made, so um, apologizes for that. But uh, I'm filming with my phone, and the uh, last transmission job that I did, actually, uh, episode nine, the Ford. Oh, there's an update I need to do on that. Um, yeah, the servo didn't fix it. Um, we noticed that the band, one of the anchors was broke on the reverse band. So there was no way that that servo was going to fix it. I didn't catch it when I filmed the, that video. Uh, so we're taking that transmission out and we're just going to re rebuild it. I'm just going to go all the way through the thing. So um, that's a thing that's going to happen. And uh, back to this 4L80E. Uh, excellent transmissions. This shift kit, as you've seen, it's there's some work involved. Cause start, I got started on it today at about two o'clock in the afternoon we got done and i mean i kind of we kind of took my time but you keep after it it's probably it's probably just an afternoon job um so i five hours six hours to get it all the way done just take your time read the instructions if you get the kit read the instructions before you know you know, tear into the transmission just get familiar with them and uh this is new i haven't haven't done one of these shift kits in a few years so this is kind of a new addition but it's um it's the actuator feed limit valve and they've got a repair kit that you can buy if yours is, if the bore is worn out and they say at 100,000 miles you can bet the actuator bore will be worn worn bores cause low pressure hot wrong gear starts clutch band and converter slippage mysterious burn up and codes 3985 and 68 and uh this repairs that issue without having to replace the valve body. So that's good to know. Thanks, Transgo. And uh, another tip, gloves. Rubber gloves work fantastic. That way, when you're working with your instructions, if you need to turn the page, peel the glove off. You got dry hands. At least that's the idea. You can flip through the pages and not get oil all over the instructions. That makes for a nasty mess. And you can't read these. And... Um, Thicker snap ring, last one that goes in the case, stops wear on the lugs, which reduces lug blowout. So this is the this is the intermediate snap ring. Uh, you know, that, that's a fine addition. They've got some pump modifications, um, retainer springs. Obviously I didn't put those in, like I said earlier, but uh, I couldn't I couldn't film this part where I was working on this servo or the pressure regulator valve because I keep getting transmission fluid it, it'll drip and splash onto my phone and it's it's acting weird with the with the plastic on my case and on my screen or on my camera so apologizes for that but 
Uh, on step nine, where it wants you to remove the act the accumulator cover, gasket, and piston, it says install new orange one two accumulator spring. If new spring does not fit, reuse original. So this transmission that I was working on was a 2004, so it's a later model, and that orange spring fit, so I had to change it out. So that's the low reverse band servo piston and the one two accumulator piston in there. It's all in one. So make sure you do that. And then uh, the step seven for the uh, pressure regulator assembly up in the pump, it's got a uh, actual snap ring. It's not, it's not like a Dagon 700R4 where it's just got the little tangs and you've got to fight it to get it out. You just put a snap ring plier set on there, squeeze it and pull it out and it'll come out. Um, but you got to see which, which valve you have. No stem type two, which is the kind I had. Stem type one, pressure regulator valve, install spacer on PR valve stem. And there's a big bright gold spacer in the shift kit. I didn't have to do that. So it's little details like that you got to pay attention to. But anyway, that's it for this video. If you've made it this far, my God, congratulations. Consider subscribing. Like if you liked it. And um, we'll see you in the next episode. This was John Motive Garage episode 10. So we've made it to double digits. Thank you. See you in the next video.